International Educator. Hello Lana, my name is Jen Sakwa. I'm going to present a Form 1 lesson. The topic for today is squares and square roots. And we are going to concentrate on square root. The other day we looked at the squares of numbers. Now you need a four figure mathematical table, a ruler, a pen and an exercise book. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to find the square roots of given numbers. The first example, find by factor method, the square root of 324. Now to get the square root of 300, and 24, we get the factors of 324. Divide by two, two will go here once, six, two. Again, divide by two, it will give you eight, one. One, six, two divided by two, it will give you 81. Divide by three, three will go here two times because of six. And then seven, you're left with 21. Again, three, 9, 3 times 9 is 29, and then 3 and another 3. So the prime factors of 324 written as a product is equal to 2 squared times 3 to power 4. Now to get the square root of 324, it will be equal to the square root of 2 squared times 3 to power 4. To get the square root, divide the powers by 2. So the answer will be 2 to power 1 times 3 to power 2, which will give us 2 times 9, and the answer is 18. That is the factor method of finding the square root. Lana, I have a question for you. Find by factor method the square root of 196. Very good. This is the answer. As a product of prime factors, it is 2 to power 2 times 7 to power 2. So the square root of 196 is the square root of 2 to power 2 times 7 to power 2. Divide the powers by 2 will give you 2 times 7 and that will give you 14. That is the factor method of finding the square root. Our second method, the long method of finding the square root or the general method of finding the square root. Our first number is 196. So we want to get the square root of 196. Using this method, divide them into two. So I have one and I have nine and six. Now for the first one here, think of a number. When I multiply, it will give me a number, either one or slightly less than one. Now the number is one. I will put here 1, and 1 times 1 is 1. When I subtract, I get 0. Then I drop the two numbers, which is 96. 